You want finishes? You got finishes. Our Bellator 93 fight card was full of nothing but finishes, except for the first fight. Joaquin Spirit Wolf and Marcus the Irish Hand Grenade Davis ended in a no contest due to an accidental knee to the groin by the hand grenade. Spirit Wolf oversold this to an almost comical degree. He writhed around, he crawled around on his knees. The crowd was chanting, Bull! You know what? And they didn't believe it, but the fight was stopped because Spirit Wolf couldn't stand up after five minutes. Then we got a bunch of bonus fights and one heavyweight fight that was scheduled, and they all ended in finishes. Michael Page knocked out Ryan Sanders, the hometown favorite from Bangor, Maine, just 10 seconds into their welterweight bout with a very unorthodox right hand. Jason Butcher tapped out Jack Hermanson at 224 of the first round via triangle choke. Hermanson fought and fought to get out of it, nearly did at the two-minute mark, but Butcher repositioned and was able to finish him and get the tap. In an officially scheduled Spike TV heavyweight bout, Travis View was finished 18 seconds into the first round by Ryan Martinez. Martinez threw eight strikes, only landed four of them, but four were all he needed. It started with a left hand over the top, and everything else after that was academic. Then we go to more bonus fight action. In a middleweight bout, Joe Pacheco beats Perry Pierre at 154 of the first round. He locks in the key lock, and Pierre has nowhere to go and no choice but to tap to it. Jesse Peterson didn't even get the opportunity to tap out. Vic K rocked in with a knee, flew in with another flying knee, and, and sunk in the choke until he went unconscious. Your winner by technical submission, 18 seconds into the round, the A-Town Ogre, Dave Vic K. That only leaves our main event of the evening, which was the finals of the lightweight tournament. Dave Jansen and the Polish phenom Marcin Held. Held actually won the first round with striking, which was unusual for him. He usually goes for nothing but submissions, but he showed a very improved striking game in the first round. The second round was more of Held's usual MO. He was going for knee bars, arm bars, toe holds, anything he could get a hold of, and Jansen would wind up on top when the submission wouldn't work, and then would pound on Held. So Jansen won the second round, and it went to the third, and Held was starting to look gassed out in the third, in desperation, he would dive for the leg, and Jansen would wind up on top, pounding on him some more. Not to say that Held wasn't very game here and trying for submissions, but the problem is, every submission he failed, Jansen would punish him for it. So you gotta score the guy who does the damage, as opposed to the guy who tries to finish and fails. So your winner, 29-28 times 3 across the board, the $100,000 lightweight tournament winner, Dave Jansen. That's your Bellator 93 Recap. I'm Stevie J.